Every episode, Yuki shows up and has significant portion of the screen time. It is so impactful. Anytime she says something, bro. The brother, I'm stuck, bro. I'm, I'm still waiting for the dub version to see if the voice actor is going to say, you know, not step, bro, but like, I'm stuck. Clearly, they're playing into the memes right now. Other than that, we got to see the Kendo captain. I'm not sure if he's the captain, but it's the vice president. The girl that divide the captain, sorry, the president of the student council got buff enough to like, you know, handle her. It's funny because she's like, oh, stop it. But it's just like actually hurting a lot. And he's had to like get super buffed to like handle that shit. That's true love, man. Other than that, Alia is a bit benched right now. Yuki's just taking up all the fucking screen time and popping up. But hey, let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. So you're a weeb, but they can't be weebs because a weeb is actually a shortened form of a Western person who is, enjoys Eastern culture more than themselves, and they're not a weeb. So there's no talk. Yeah. That's it. Everyone's smiling and having fun. Only Alia, pouty face. I love how distinctive every girl's like eyes. Like if you look at the eyes and the mouth, it's like this, this. Ignore the hair. Just look at the base template of the faces. Like obviously the author has a specific style, right? It, it looks really good. Better than the manga art, should I say? This will be fun between those two. I want to see what's going to happen. That, that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Some shit's about to go down. I, we, we better fucking follow. A kiss of the indirect variety. <laughs> we gonna get an indirect kiss today? Taking Kuze for, you know, running mate. Okay. <gasps> Last night. So. Hmm. Okay. Making it sound like you're like rubbing it in Yuki's face right now. I know that she's just trying to clear up the air, but okay. She looks kind of sad because like she was playing it off like it's not a big joke and she continues to do the fan service jokes but like underneath I wonder how she really feels. Do you like him? Say it! Say it! <laughs> He didn't even say ski, bro. It's not an ice to bro. She she met the hard love. She she said love with the hard E, bro. Like, sorry, the hard A. I, I, bro. She didn't even finish her question. She's like, do you uh and then you can like, I know what you're about to say, bitch. I love him as a brother, but maybe more than that. More than mom and dad. That's probably true. I mean, the sister, I think, does love Masatsuka. I don't know the relationship between the mom and dad, but the divorce shit, you know, the plot going the backstory, that, that was kind of bad, right? What she is saying right now is not wrong, right? But she has, she's saying it from like a sister's perspective. So it makes Alia think like, what the fuck? Are you serious? You know the mom and dad too? <laughs> Just a good friend? Oh my god, Yuki! Come on, make yourself clear. I wonder if Masatsuka's outside doing this right now because he was following them, right? Wonder what she really wanted. Is Yuki just being cheeky, trying to press her up and saying, you know, do you actually like him? Or is this like a sister trying to see that this potential girlfriend, right, is actually that serious about my big bro? And like, are you worthy of dating my big bro kind of feel? 
I feel like it's a little bit of the latter, where she's trying to see, like, show me your resolve to much how much love you have for my big bro. Do you actually love him more than me? <laughs> now was Masashka outside the entire time? Alright. They got closer there. Yuki is being so mature and level-headed. Like, she could be just like a nasty bitch and try to, you know, be do doing mean things to Alia. But if she did that, I think a lot of people would hate her, right? Like, us, the audience watching. I don't know. Some people actually don't like Alia. They're like, you can't spell Alia without L. And they're like, all about Yuki, right? But like, other than that, like, I think Yuki going to a high road is a very good decision. Very good decision to be the mature one right now, regardless of how she might be feeling inside. Vetting for Alia's feelings towards, you know, you know, a Masashka. This is pretty good. Now they're, they're, they're friends. Okay. If it's your milk. Who the fuck put jam in tea? Is that a thing? I, I've never had tea with jam before. Russian tea. Interesting, okay. You're not gonna put protein powder in tea, right? No, that, that's bizarre. No, do not do that. Was that a joke or what? I can't tell. Some backstory, maybe? Mom loves tea. Who? What could the mom look like? Their mom gotta be so fucking hot, man. One second, one second, one second. Technical difficulty. Let me just readjust the airpod. And we're good. That girl, which is most likely Masha. All the evidence we have so far points towards it's Masha, but I'm still down for that 0.1% tinfoil theory of there being like a separate girl too. Fuck it, I don't care. I, 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 like it's, yes, it's, it's boring to just like stick with the safe answer. You know what I mean? It, it, like, of course, everyone thinks it's Masha right now. And yeah, it probably is, but like, wouldn't it be funnier to think like there's a fucking third girl, bro? Like, that'd be insane. Thank you. This reminds me of the tea from the past. Shut the fuck up. Are we gonna do a little flashback? What's gonna happen? Mom. Okay, okay, Masatsuka mom. Quite the tea aficionado herself. Uh, mama's Japanese. No. Are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? Alright, are y'all picking up what I'm putting down right now? Did you understand my train of thought when I saw that the mom. The liking of the tea. What if they shared the mom? Could you imagine? Could you imagine if they shared the mom? <laughs> oh shit, bro! And the divorce? Hear me out. Hear me out. The divorce happened because Masachka's mom cheated on Masachka's dad with Alia's dad. Oh, oh! I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think there's any chance of that happening. The only thing that would have made me even think that was because Kuzi's mom loves tea, Masha's mom loves tea. But my degenerate brain is making the connection of <laughs> How are they the same age? Because they were fucking at the same time. It was cheating. It was cheating behind the scenes, bro. The mom was cheating at the same time, bro. I, I think there's some leeway, bro. And she was hiding the pregnancy somehow, but... I don't think so. That's like a 0.0000001% fucking tinfoil theory land we're going there. Jam first, and then tea. Ah, oh, I thought that you put the jam in the tea, and like, you like, stir it up, but it's like jam and tea. Got it, got it. Maybe you wanna try that. 
Now the tea, the bitter tea to balance the sweetness. Oh, getting closer, are we? I feel like she's just trying to get more closer to Masasuka ever since the confrontation with Yuki. It's just, she's just fucking capping right now. <laughs> Look at that cheeky smile. Yeah, the guy next to him. Oh! Then they're 15? That's crazy. Felt is the same age. Felt from ReZero, 15. Same age as these guys. But then? But then? It's like, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Felt is also homeless and doesn't eat shit, so poor nutrition. That's why she's stunted in body. That is the thing, right? Literally, Masha understands. Like, is this exhibitionism at finest? Who knows, man? That's a lot of jam! And remember, this seat is still fucking unoccupied. What is going on with this seat, man? This, this, is there an extra person? Is it just an empty seat? Who knows? Royal Fath. Oh, a little diner date? いいわよ。じゃあよ。何人と話してお even though they broke the rules because they've spent money on the channel. <sighs> well, you're, 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 you're gonna get timed out. Never fucking ask that question. And you? <sighs> Take a 10 minute timeout. Rule number one, never ask. Rule number two, never answer. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> The jam. Was that not enough sugar for you? You had a whole platter of jam. I need some sugar to get my brain working again. It's probably a sugar crash right now. You, you eat those shitty ass sugars, bro. You get hype up for a bit and you fucking crash. And then you justify saying I need more sugar. Ah, so. Confronted her so hard about her feelings, which is good. Hell no. Nah. This is true. Really? She's that good? And she even has a resume of prior experiences as the president as well. So, like, you know what? Yuki probably looks way better than Alia. Yuki's been dominating? Oh, who's this drill girl over here? Are we ever gonna see her again? Who knows? Okay. Got it. Basically, like how Trump basically said, you can't even golf for shit, Joe. And he won on TV. It's basically that bullshit. It's just, it's just fucking debates in front of people to see like, huh, how are each candidates are ready to answer different scenarios? And based on their performance, they're more likely to go with that. And Yuki was so fucking good. She has never lost a debate. Would Yuki lose against 
uh, what's her name? Mayumi in the Irregular Magic High School. Another being that is supposedly never lost a debate. So in this battle of yapping, I wonder if Alia could beat Yuki. I don't think Alia is as fast as Yuki. Genuinely. Yuki is pretty snappy and fast. Like so far, anytime Yuki and Alia interact, it feels like Yuki is literally just commanding the entire room. It feels like she's got Ali in the palms of her hands, but we'll see how this works out. I think so. Damn. It's not even worth contesting because she exists. And who is she? Yuki. What is that? What is that? What is that? She still wants this to be a date and he's trying to take this shit so seriously, trying to get you to fucking win. <laughs> indirect kiss? The title was Kiss of an Indirect Variety or some shit, right? I don't like it when this fucking happens. Sometimes I'll try to floss my teeth after like this. I don't know, it's a weird thing while I like chew on the fucking bit and it gets all tiny and then I'll try to like... Fucking squeeze it up my teeth crevices. It's some weird ADHD shit, I don't know. <laughs> She's not listening, bro. She is not listening at all. She's like, shit, when did I bite this fucking straw? I can't drink my stingy anymore. And <laughs> you and Masatsuka just going through the whole explanation of the strategies. Yeah, we're, we're cooked. We are cooked. She does not give a fuck. <laughs> No. No. の選挙ができるようになったらしいけどな。聞いてるか。No。聞いてるわ。ちょっとパフェに気を取られただけ。はあ。何よ。元はといえば、あなたがそんな態度だから、私も調子が狂うんじゃない。気してないなら、意識させ
Yeah, order like 20 parfaits, bro. Make Alia obese. Alia will go up and say, for this specific campaign, I gained 100 pounds. And I will show you my determination and lose it all. And you will be compelled by this journey. And you will vote for me. Mapo Tofu! あと、<笑> まずは一学期の so what, she wanted to go fucking do a speech in Russian the entire time and people were like, what the fuck did she just say? It does. And she needs to commit to him. That's a big bite. What the chili? What the chili? Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> you keep back! <laughs> Evil Yuki, Angel Masha. <laughs> Very cute. Masha's dead. Let her have it. Whole ass chili. It's not so spicy. She's still holding her mouth. She needs a running mate. <laughs> New partner. Running mate. I think that Yuki's running mate. Maybe Masha? Maybe. Like, if that spot in the student council room, that's, that there's still that one seat that's missing, right? I could totally see that. And I'm still trying to figure out how that maid in the opening also relates to the story. So like, I'm still waiting for that maid. If that maid is that empty spot, then maybe that is the running mate? Maybe a missing member? I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, we're in trouble if she brings out the likes of Taniyama. He's that goaded? Taniyama revenge run? I, I'm not sure because like that one time we saw her was when she was like crying because she probably lost like a debate or something in the, in the past against Yuki is my assumption. Hayasaka. Hayasaka hair again from Kaguya-sama bro. Hayasaka and Kaguya right over here. Is it time for the new girl to show up? It is. You got black hair. I can't tell if it's Taniyama though. Who is it? Different girl? Ooh. Yes! Yes! That's her face! Yes! And she sounds like she's cool today. Kudere maid has shown up? Alright, general affairs like us. Brand new girl, man. Yuki looks so smug about it. And then Masachika looking at Yuki. Hmm, interesting. Ayano Koji! It looks like for whatever reason she's trouble, huh? Because like I think I remember her as the maid when Yuki was sick in the flashback scene, but other than that, I don't know. Is she that much of a threat? Who really knows? And that's pretty much today's episode of Roche Today. What was today's episode? Uh definitely 
In terms of impact or engagement, I think that this is probably gonna be most people's most like uh, least favorite episode, just based on the content that's been shown. It doesn't mean it's a bad episode, but it's just like a build-up setup episode. It's nice to see Yuki confront Alia, but in a very mature way. Yuki probably is jealous and seething maybe, but deep inside, even if she feels like that, if she feels like that, she's not showing it and she's trying to take the high road and kind of speculating and trying to gauge on how Alia actually feels about Masachika. And to see like, are you really worthy of my big bro? How much do you actually love him? Everything that Yuki said there was so funny because it's not wrong. Everything that she said is true, but from a sister's perspective that Alia obviously doesn't understand. So that's where, you know, the misunderstanding makes Alia think that she's, you know, being under attack. Right now, we're going to lead into some sort of like a debate, right? But in order to like uh, win these debates or you know have a successful campaign, we need to inspire people and have a situation where it looks like Alia is like working hard, right? Just like how the Prez lost all that weight and become buff, you need to have an inspiring story to motivate the people, which is a pretty smart idea to do so. We got introduced to two separate new characters, right? Was her in Toniyama or some shit? I forget, the girl that lost in uh, middle school against Yuki, as well as a new maid here named Ayano. I know that she's not really new, she's, she existed before in the flashback, but finally we get to see her in present time, and I swear to god if she fucking knows Russian, bro. I swear to god if she knows Russian. That's it from me though. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.